Old school two strokes are cool, there's no doubt about it. But taming these beasts might well become a lost art form in the very near future. As the dirt bike world is beginning to be dominated by four stroke machines, riders, old and young, are beginning to forget how to treat these old beauties. My name is Max, this is 999 Laser, and we're here today with three time 500cc world motocross champion Dave Thorpe to learn how to properly ride our vintage machines. One thing that just drops in my head straight away is how much we sit down and how early we sit down. But when you're sat down, it's all from your waist up. There's really not anything else that's gonna help you apart from strong arms and strong shoulders. We've all been riding bikes a long time, so it's the little bits that we can try and pick up on that should give us a little bit more confidence in our riding. Looks like he's done a couple of laps. One thing I would say, legs, when we're standing, we want calves and knees to be tight on the bike, not open. The only pro rider I have ever known to ride with his legs open, and he did it very successfully, was Jamie Dobb. Jamie was very much, for some reason, he liked that movement. But every other pro that I've known that have gone on to achieve what Jamie did, they've been tight, tight on the bike, calves and knees. So you're controlling the bike very low down. As a racer, what we want to be, fast on the straight, smooth and accurate in the corner. The person that is hard to beat when you're riding is the person that's fast on the straights and doesn't make mistakes in the corners. He is a very frustrated animal to beat. emphasize enough to you how important giving yourself an angle for the corner is. Where do you think you shut off first for this corner here? Where do you think it is? <laughs> that would give you one second. Remember that leg. Don't let it out until you need it. Because as you come over the brow, just got it's just angling. Tommy, who rides for us, he is the master of finding the little edgy lines. So if this was him, he would come in and as they developed into those little choppy ones, he'd just pull inside of it. Yeah. For most of us, I think gear-wise, would we be the same? Or would you change down for the inside? Just pulling up and down for the inside. Yeah, so you go to probably. second? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. What about you on the big bikes? I've only got third gear in this So here we are at Marshfield, we've just wrapped up. What are you calling this day? Um, well, it's part of what we do. It's a Dave Thorpe training day, but obviously it's the Evo. On and the, the, the Evo yeah. edition. Yeah. So we've just wrapped up the Dave Tr Thorpe training day on the Evo, Evo bikes. Dave, just talk us through why you guys decided to throw this event. And um, it's obviously successful because this is the third day you've done this month or in the last month. 
To be honest, Nick, who works for us, um, it was his idea. He said, look, why don't we do a few? Because he races um, in the Evo and the Twin Shock. I kind of said, yeah, why not? It's, it's, uh, it's going to be fun. It's not really what we're at. You know, our main business is to try and encourage people that have maybe gone away from the sport to come back into it. But um, yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, uh, it's, been, it's been fun and it's been a, a, a nice addition to what we already do. So this is the third day that you've done this year so far. Uh, is there any more planned for the future? Yeah, we've, I think we've got some in June um, coming up, a couple in June. Yeah, it's just, just nice to be around like-minded people, you know, that enjoy the, the sport of motocross. It's been good fun. His knowledge is just, you know, when you just listen to him talk, it's just, you know, he talks to you about lines that I wouldn't necessarily think of, of going and using. You know, it's, it, you, can't, you can't quantify that kind of knowledge that this guy's got. You know, he's, he was a, a schoolboy hero of mine. I went to Namur back in the day and watched him win round there and it's it's amazing just to be here with him and listen to what he's got to say. He breaks the track down into small sections and we concentrate on particular corners or particular techniques. He, he puts it across really well, we all understand what he's saying We can and to be fair, you know, after a few minutes you, you, your riding just start to improve so uh, it's well worth it and good fun. I find it good, I reckon we've learned a lot and we've got a lot faster. And I know I know he won three time world champion, it's one of us my dad's idol or whatever, but I reckon it's good and I would recommend it to everyone. You know, my son's probably got a bit of influence from uh, from my racing. Um and obviously I've got the old Evo bike, so I think obviously the Evo thing has come from from uh, what with my experiences with it, but he does enjoy riding the old bikes. Um and you know he's he's got gaining good knowledge from this training school today. I've done a day with old training school in the past and I found it really uh, educational and interesting and recommend it to anyone. I think he comes across good on a one-to-one -one basis even though there's, there's a few of you in the group you get like a personal attention I'd, I'd say like you know more. Just even so far I've learnt about just keeping my head and looking forwards a bit and angulation of your head just those little things just make my riding so much better because I'm not very good at the best of times. Obviously you're imparting your wis wisdom onto the guys on the track talking about general stuff really in the start of the day and then he was giving some of the guys, especially on the 500s, more specific pointers about the bikes they was riding and maybe how they could change their style because they're on these older bikes. Do you want to just give us maybe like your top three tips if you are riding a big old CR500 or these older bikes, what, what can you do differently on these to maybe if you're riding modern bikes, four strokes, what do you, does a rider need to do different? I think um, the basic element of track craft is very similar. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, on the on the big um, on the big 500s, it's uh, it's about using the gears because, as we know, if you if you put these right up in the high rev range, they they are quite a lethal bit of kit in the wrong hands. Some guys here today, they rode the 500 really well. I thought, you know, they rode it how it should be, you know, really tall gears and and pull in. So my my top tips would be, you know, as I said to the guys today, is about riding the track, what's best for them not following everybody um, try and create angles and i think the guys that were here today we're all of an age that when you're done you're done yeah sensible yeah be very sensible because um, it's got to be fun and uh, the time it's not fun is the time it bites back and our age we don't want to be bitten back yeah i've, I've come uh, well dave actually borrowed my 250 so i've come to pick it up and have a go and it's fantastic again um, learning so much I know what to do but I can't do it and Dave is just correcting me on so much line choice and everything and it's just fantastic again I'll, I'll be back I will be back I mean he's just a normal guy when you meet him but you're in awe of this guy who just got on these bikes when we were growing up got on these bikes I still got the TMX of when he won the world championship and um, I put it and curled it up and put it in a bag and kept it because it just meant so much to me I mean what an inspiration we've got We've got all the um, professional riders and athletes now going along. He's done it, been there, and uh, he just comes along and chats with us all the time. It's just a really fun day. Love it. Absolutely love it. Well, I was a fan of Dave back in the day, like we probably all were. Um, but I like, he gives you very simple advice. He watches you properly, and then he individually tells you what you could improve. And it's not about kind of, 
you know, trying harder and being braver. It's about carrying speed, setting yourself up properly, and the silly mistakes we all make, like shutting off too early for the corners and not standing up and all of those sorts of things. So it's, it's very simple, easy to digest <clears throat> information that just makes you faster without actually trying harder. You're just a little bit better each time. I've been a few times now. And every time I go home with three or four things to work on, um, and they work. It's it's simple. That's why he was very fast and we weren't. But it still is one. <laughs> he is still very fast, isn't he? There. Gee, he still goes. Yeah. So, no, it's excellent. I would recommend it to anybody. Oh, it's been a brilliant well, day. wouldn't you want to spend the day, day with, with the world, world champion? champion? Yeah. Oh, it's just the it's knowledge and the um, sort of simple things that you wouldn't think of yourself. And it just makes so much sense when he talks you through it. Yeah. And you just think, well, I was not thinking well, that in the first thing, place. Yeah. Yeah. Why do I do what I do? Yeah. But it's just you just get stuck in old habits, and it's nice to yeah. have someone who, who's been there and done it and, and knows what they're talking about. Just give you some some things to think about. Yeah. and Someone how who knows to how to ride a bike teaching you rather than <laughs> my dad. <laughs> These bikes, obviously, the track here at Marshall is very old school. Do you think you're best off to ride these bikes on tracks like this rather than some of the more modern tracks where I heard one of the guys say that that's what he's not scared of but more nervous about riding his older bikes on a modern track. Yeah, I think if you if you look at these bikes, you know, with a with a good youngster, you know, even like like, you know, he's not a youngster and I, he won't mind me saying it, but like Tom Church. Yeah. You know, Tom is a classic example. He could ride one of these bikes equally as good on a modern day track or an old school track. But, you know, the series is quite rightly tend to follow the older school tracks which enhance people to want to come and ride. And, you know, I kind of, I look at it that some of these people might have moved away and it brings them back in and then they're back in the off-road market and they may stay on a two-stroke, they might do a bit of green laning on a trail bike. You know, that evolution of racing away and then coming back to it and getting the bug, whether it be a CR250 or a CRF250, it just gets people back in the off-road industry, which I think is, is key. And is that really your your mission now is to get as many people as you can into dirt bikes. Obviously, you said today you like riding any type of bike. Is that your overall mission with the Dave Thorpe off-road centre and the schools that you do? Is that your kind of goal? Yeah, I, I think, you know, my my thought process with Honda is, is that we offer an experience which I hope most people find first class. Whether they've been in it or they've been away from it, they come and have an experience and then ultimately when they leave us, we've got a 50-50 chance whether they go red or another colour, but ultimately they're back in the industry and that's really what it's all about. Yeah. Perfect. So that's Dave Thorpe here at Marshfield today. We've just wrapped up the uh, Evo training day. Big thanks to Dave for having us down. It's been a great day. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to like this video, share it with all your two-stroke loving friends and subscribe to the channel. As always guys, my name's Max. This is 999 Laser. See you next time. That's sometimes created because we don't look far enough forward as well. Well, I know you didn't because you nearly run me over, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, guys, thanks for watching this video and another big thank you to Dave and Nick for having us down on the day. The guys actually have another couple of Evo days coming up this month, so check out the details in the description down below. Also, a massive shout out to Tom and Ruby for watching all the videos and supporting the channel. Cheers guys, till next time, I've been Max, this is 999 Laser, I'll see you at the track.